Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. We are having a super relaxed day today. Right now, it's 1.05 p.m. And this morning, she woke up at like... She didn't even wake up. I woke her up at, I think, sometime after 6. Is it actually? Hold on. Let's look at the specs. So she went to bed at 12.13 a.m., she woke up at 7.48 a.m., that's 7 hours and 35 minutes, and then she went back to bed at 9, and I woke her up at 12, um, because I'm like, I don't want her to sleep too long, because the last two nights, last night I put her down at, um, like, 8.39, like I normally would, like, 8.45, 9, like I normally would, and she slept for a little bit, and then she woke up, and I'm like, okay, maybe she needs to burp, because my girl does not cry like that, she is not a crier. And so I'm like, okay, fine. Maybe she has to like burp or something like that. And so I went in there and I picked her up and it was over. There was a point where she was just looking up in my face and smiling with me. And I'm like, it has to be because I let her sleep too much throughout the day. But also if she wants to sleep, what can I do? You know what I mean? And so it was a little bit frustrating for me. Not that I'm frustrated with her, but I was frustrated in general because I go back to work in when you guys are seeing this i'm already back at work and so it's like because it's like a week and so i wanted to make sure that she's sleeping at nights but i've also come to the conclusion that there's no need for me to feel overwhelmed because just like it's my responsibility to be her mom and to deal with all of the stages that she goes through it is also her dad's responsibility to do those things as well and so if i've had her hair for the last three months and I had her on a really good schedule and right now we're going through a fluke or like she's a little bit off her schedule because she's growing and she's changing it's okay for him to have to experience that too and figure out like how to navigate that and so I've been telling myself that since last night but it still kind of stresses me out because I'm like I don't want to be at work and she's just here crying profusely but you have to do what you have to do and uh, what I have to do is go to work and what he has to do is watch her at night. And so that's kind of where we're at, where that's concerned. So there's that. Because typically by the time he gets home, especially with this new schedule that he has, but she's been on like her 8.30, 8.45, 9pm schedule for a long, long time. And like I said, I'm praying that this is just a fluke. But typically when he gets home, she's already in bed and sleeping and he wouldn't have to do anything at all you know and so um that really worked out for me and that gave me peace of mind as the mom going back to work you know so um yeah there's that we were just in the living room relaxing basically the entire morning i read her a book i love reading her little books and now she's able to like kind of see things on the pages or see outlines i'm not sure what exactly she's seeing at this point and so it's a little bit more enjoyable because now she's looking at the book and like me turning the pages and stuff like that and paying attention to me reading as well and so we did that and i did her hair and i just brought her in the bedroom to put two little bows in her hair because i'm absolutely obsessed with putting bows on her little pigtail so that's where we're at i remember when i had my first daughter going around her head about two inches from the nape she had like a bald spot going all the way around like that and I couldn't for the life of me figure out what was wrong with it so um so when I used to do her hair I used to put the hair over it and like put in a ponytail or whatever like comb it find a way to kind of disguise it and um Mia has a full head of hair like the hair is all over and we love that for her I made it work with oh I love these little rumpers on her it's so cute hi beautiful Hi, beautiful. Hey. Oh. She's so over me. She's at the point right now where she is talking back to me a lot. Love that. And she is laughing. She's smiling. She's laughing. She's looking at me do things and laughing. Like if I come close in her face and I make funny sounds, she's laughing. Um, when I move my hands, she tracks it with her eyes and stuff like that. So that's great. She's meeting all her developmental milestones and absolutely excited about that. This morning when she went to sleep, I woke up and I ate breakfast. So we've already checked that off. Um, there isn't really anything to do. I just fed her earlier. What I'm going to do is it's approaching the time that she's supposed to get 
a little bit um sleepy so what i'm gonna do is i think now every time she wakes up she's up for about an hour if anything and so because see right now she's been up for an hour and eight minutes and um i think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pump. I'm gonna put the pump on one boob while I feed her, so she could while I nurse her, so she could go back to sleep. But you know, also last night when I was getting a little bit overwhelmed, I was telling myself that she is literally three months. I feel like I've been home forever, and like she's so big based on how tiny she was when I just brought her home. But she's only three months, and at three months, they're gonna go through these phases of like things changing so yes at one point she was on a routine and everything was great but also at some point it's going to change and i kind of have to just realize that and you know work with it change with her while she changes and so that's where um we're at the night before last night her dad came home and like he changed her diaper and we were there with her for a little bit just playing with her she didn't go to bed until 1 a.m and last night she didn't go until 12 but um you know we were he at one point i got so tired and i'm like listen she fell asleep and he sneezed the three times and she woke up and i'm like come take her because you woke her up and i have to sleep for a little bit like I, I felt so exhausted but yesterday what i did for myself and what really worked out for me is she went to sleep at like five and i and i slept with her too this morning when she went to sleep i slept with her too and if she takes another long nap throughout the day i'm probably gonna sleep with her too if i feel sleepy and so that should help the last couple of days i've wanted to take her on a walks just to get us outside get some fresh air because i feel like that's so important every time i get ready to go outside it said that it's gonna rain the weather has significantly oh no we could probably go outside today maybe like 5 p.m i'm gonna take her on a walk hey siri uh-huh remind me at 4 30 p.m to start getting mia ready to go on a walk Four thirty p.m. Seventy-eight degrees. Oh, the humidity is forty-five percent. God, it's a lot. But right now, okay. We'll see. well as the day progresses, we'll see how it works and like just change going forward. I'm gonna put her down and get my pump stuff together. I'm gonna put my hair up because, oh. I, it might just be me, but I do not like what, especially when the time is hot, I don't want no hair touching me. So this brushing on me right now is irritating me so much because it's kind of hot. I have this air conditioner going in the living room, but I feel like it's not as powerful as the one in the bedroom. And I literally bought the same thing, but I was, I think maybe I was being cheap. And I ended up with the one that you don't use a remote for. You use the, you spin the little dial and it's irritating me. So here we are. 